guys, who are you? David Frank here from GearPop.com and now to FrankoMedia.com. Check both those links out below. They're also on my monitors. They just happen to be there. What are the chances? Anyway, this is my office tour for winter 2013. The second half of winter, so don't be confused by the time November and December come up. Just putting that out there. Anyway, yes, I'm not an idiot. Tomorrow is the first day of spring. So why am I doing this on the very last day of winter? Well, why not? Well, I shouldn't say why not. There is a big reason. You see this office, guys? This is my office. I love it. I freaking love this room. I'm in here practically all day and all night. Obviously, this is my job. Uh, but this office will no longer be here. This office will soon be behind this wall because I'm getting hardwood floor put in both these rooms. So I'm looking to expand. So my new office will be behind me and my bedroom will be in here. It's going to be a very small bedroom, but who cares? I'd rather have more room in an office than a bedroom because I only sleep like five hours a day and I'm in here like, I don't know, do the math. Anyway, this is my office tour for spring, winter, 2013. Enjoy. All right, so this is where I was just standing. This is my tripod. I forget the brand name. I have like five tripods nowadays. Oh, here we go. It's the Ravelli. Makes you think of ravioli. There is my little drone dude I got for Christmas. I forget what it's called. AR drone 2.0 or 1.0. I'm not sure. This is a Mario thing that a viewer of mine was nice enough to send me. As well as these two Sonic game cases. Two more Sonic game cases. And a Luigi pouch. I guess you could call it a pouch for money or whatever. Behind my office door is a Macworld magazine. Yes, it's an actual magazine that my very good friend Alfred A. de Blasio on YouTube sent me. That is the 25th anniversary issue. Check that out, guys. And yes, again, that is a real magazine in there. I will never take it out because it's just that special to me. Up here is my The Office sign. I'm a huge fan of The Office. I watch it literally every single night on Netflix. I love it that much. And I never get tired of it. It is the only show I can watch over and over again and never get sick of it. All right, up here is my Gamer and Geek shelf. There's no real name for it, but that's what I'll call it. I'll do a quick run through. I'm not going to go into detail, but you guys can see everything for yourself. A lot of this stuff is Loot Crate, as you can probably tell. This is from my friend Aaron. Thank you again, Aaron. Crazy Curls. This is my Spider-Man lunchbox from Loot Crate. The Oddworld can. Yes, guys, my longtime viewers do recognize this. And look, it's still not opened. Remember, my promise is to you guys, I will never open this until I am on my deathbed. Unless somebody dares me to open it, but... No, I'm kidding. I'm not going to. Really? What am I, five years old? David, I dare you to open it. Anyway, seriously though, guys, I will never open that um, until I'm practically dying. That's morbid, but that's just the way I look at it. Power up energy drink. It is empty. Bacon lip balm. Battery charger case. Uh, bat whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm destroying everything. Box, I should say. Not case. Box. Yes, I do keep the box because I love Apple packaging. That's as basic as it gets, but there you go. Uh, Nintendo bobbleheads, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Lego. Mario stuff, Donkey Kong, more drink stuff. Guys, I love this stuff. There's my Wii U box. I love my Wii U. It's sitting there right there in the center, right above my desk, which I will get to in a minute. There are my lens boxes for my Canon T4i, which is right there. Zoom H1 box. That's not going to be there forever because it's not really a good box to look at, in my opinion. I don't know. It's just a microphone. It's a great microphone, but it is just a microphone. Wawa K-Cups. Oh, by the way. There's a little story behind this. This was my first Wawa K-Cup ever, or single cup as they call them, I'm sure for licensing uh, issues. But yes, this is my first Wawa K-Cup I've ever purchased, so this will forever be up here. Unless there's some kind of weird apocalypse and there's an insane coffee shortage, then I will drink it, but for now, I will not. Going back up here, again, there's my Wawa K-Cup box. Little airplane somebody sent me for Christmas time. Um, my old RAM, that was in my Mac Pro. Eventually I'll put that in my box of hardware upgrades slash downgrades. My Rode Video Mic Pro uh, microphone box, which I don't know why it's up there, but I guess it is. Excellent microphone though. There's Munker. You guys have seen him before. Munker is an awesome monkey. He just kind of chills there all day. This is my shipping and media distribution center, I call it. This is where I uh, write my DVDs, usually for David Banther over at youtube.com slash DLB1752. Check them out. Um, envelopes, labels, packaging, which, well, my, my packaging tape, I should say, which I do need to refill. Look how 
than that's getting. That's usually used for eBay or if I ship some things for clients. DVD casing, more casing, and DVD um, sleeves, I guess you could call them. This is my other stuff, kind of personal stuff, like their tax documents and everything, so I'm not gonna get up close. Scotch tape, blah, 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 more packaging stuff. Batteries, this is a nine volt battery pack that I bought for my Rode VideoMic Pro, which is right here. It takes one nine volt battery. Excellent, excellent microphone, I love it. Uh, iPod socks, which I got years ago. This is the first thing I ever got at an Apple store, I believe, um, in Soho anyway. So I will never forget that awesome. Overpriced, but awesome. All right, moving on to the middle. This is my Tix clock. If you ever wonder what it is, just Google TIX and you'll see exactly what it is. I got inspired by Chris Perlo, like many other people, I'm sure. I, I think he's like the official spokesperson for Tix. Well, he's not really, but I think he should be. Here are my OS 10 cats. Yes, I have fallen a bit behind, but I will get back onto that shortly. Yoda, there's another watch I got to review. Honey Badger Don't Care from Loot Crate, Domo from uh, Loot Crate, yeah, Loot Crate, Loot Crate, my Wawa truck, awesome. Actually, I believe this is from David Banther. David, isn't this from you? I just tend to forget because I have so much Wawa stuff. Actually, I think you're like my official supplier of Wawa merchandise. Um, I have so much of it, which is awesome. Angry Birds Pig and a Dunder Mifflin Ball, which I got in New York City. This is my eye shrine, I call it. Yes, check it out guys. These are all my iPods and iPhones throughout the year. Z yeah, throughout the year. I got all these in 2013. Now, this is my first iPod though. This is the iPod come on, third generation. I believe it's 30 gigabyte. Yep, 30 gigabyte. Look how scratched up it is. But guys, look how thick it is by today's standards. Look at that. It's pretty crazy. So that was my first iPod ever, and I will never forget the feeling of getting it on Christmas morning years ago. Back then, I didn't even know who Apple was. I was just amazed by the technology and how it worked. It was just so fascinating. And it still is fascinating how these buttons actually light up orange or red, depending on how you look at it. But yes, that is my iShrine, and that is my little Steve Jobs dude. What up? Now, on the far right here is Mario and Hershey's chocolate thing that I got made in Christmas 09. I believe that was made on my birthday. And I do have a video on that, so just search New York Christmas 2009 and you'll see what it's all about. Leak Crate sticker, Leak Crate glasses. Yeah, oh, by the way, this is obviously like a Leak Crate corner besides a couple things. But anyway, there's my shelf. This isn't Tour of a Geek's shelf, but as you can see, I think it's pretty impressive. Oh, by the way, up there is my acoustic audio foam, which is pretty cool. And I have two more panels right here. I don't know how much work it does. Yes, there's a dent in the door. I did not do that. That was there when I moved in. I don't know how much work these do. I mean, I don't know. But they look kind of cool, and it makes me look kind of official, I think. Anyway, moving back down here, this is my AT2020, which I've been meaning to sell, but I just never get around to it, I guess. It's my pop filter, more tripods. It's, actually, this is a microphone stand. More tripods down here, mini tripods anyway. There's my MacBook Pro bag, my camcorder case, and this is a Google bag from David Banther. Again, David, thank you so much. I really like this bag. Um, but in it is a CR48, which I don't think I ever told my YouTube audience. Come on, doing this with one hand is tough. I rooted this thing years ago and put Ubuntu on it, Linux. So that's pretty sweet. It looks just like a black MacBook, but with no Apple logo. I'll just keep that there so don't waste time. Trash can, nothing exciting. Loot crate box from last month that I still have to throw away. I tend to get lazy when it comes to stuff like that. Speaking of lazy, yes, I do realize I have to vacuum my floor. It's getting very messy. But because my door's right there, I always go in and out this door to get my mail, which is right out there. And there's my car with an Apple sticker on it now. There's one on that side and one on the other. Anyway, this isn't Torby Geek's house. Down here is my Logitech subwoofer. Whoa, very dusty. I just noticed that. Holy crap. Obviously, I gotta dust that. I uh, guys, I seriously love my Logitech system. Uh, it's 2.1. I think Z2600 or 2300. I forget. As always, you guys will let me know in the comments. Uh, but it is on GearPop. Speaking of, so go to GearPop.com. Hover over. Actually, not audio and video. I think it's computer hardware, desktop speakers. I think I have them. Where are they? Maybe I don't have them. Or maybe I put a newer version up. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's it. There's probably a newer version up because I don't like to list uh, hardware that's too outdated. All right, down here is my Magic Mouse iPhone 4S Spark Energy Drink from my friend, well, my viewer, Alex. Uh, I think... I forget his last name. I don't want to get it wrong. So I'll just say Alex. Alex, thank you very much. I will be doing a first taste of this very soon, I promise. Uh, I have a Bluetooth keyboard. I don't know if I already went over that. Yoshi mug with fresh coffee in it, which I will be drinking right after this video. Zoom H1 mic, Brain Bits, which I still have to finish. This is actually part of the Mad Cats headset, which I will be reviewing hopefully this week. I've just been really busy lately. 23 inch Apple Studio, Cinema Display, sorry, Cinema Display Studio is our old um, display lineup. And this is my 24 inch Asus display with a Logitech C910 webcam up top, which I really enjoy. And now, I really talk a lot. This is an official Apple travel mug for my friend Melanie. Thank you, Melanie, so much. She uh, actually sent me a few things, like, you know, from the actual company store in California, because I believe her husband um, deals with them on kind of like some kind of authorized business. I'm not sure the exact title, but that was very nice of you, Melanie. Thank you. The fact that this is official, you guys know me. I'm a very native kind of person. I don't like knockoffs, so that, that was very nice of you. Zoom H1, I went over that, right? Oh, by the way, thefrankymedia.com. There's my new website. Check it out. Blue Snowball Mic, which is still my preferred Snowball Mic, but I think I will be getting the Yeti eventually. Here's my Mac Pro, 2.66 gigahertz, uh, dual core, dual processor, so technically uh, quad core total. And this is my memory card reader. That's my memory card for my T4i, which I'll talk about in a second. This is my Windows 8 PC. I haven't turned it on in weeks, honestly. But here's my Windows 8 bootable DVD that I made. I love having uh, my own boot up disk. Whoa, as I throw the mouse. Sorry about that. And this is my uh, keyboard that I got sponsored from davidswishes.com, which I greatly appreciate. And this is a case for you guys, a giveaway case Prodigy Mini. Stay tuned for details on that in a future video. And this is my computer chair. I actually got this chair from my dad a while ago. It's nothing special. I mean, it's nothing unique. It's just a computer chair. But I got to say, it's very comfortable, and I don't see myself changing out of it anytime soon. Unless it breaks and I end up on the floor, then yes, but it is what it is. All right, over here, a very messy corner, lots of cables. I realize that looks like crap. Trust me, I fully realize that. But this thing probably won't even be here by the time I move into my new office, which again is right behind this wall. It's my current bedroom. Up here is a Western Digital um, external hard drive hooked up to my Airport Extreme so I can access it over the network. My Motorola surfboard SB6121 modem. By the way, I have unboxings on like everything you guys see in this video. So just search the product name and the word unboxing and you'll find it. This is my Hue router. I love my Hue. I have two of the bulbs up there right now you won't really be able to tell but I will be doing a future video on that hopefully soon here's my Furby 2.0 very cool yeah you can wake up down here's my scale for shipping things so it tells me how much something costs there's my APC Sorry. UPC uninterruptible power supply so I always think of APC isn't APC a brand name here's my 24 inch ASUS monitor for my gaming setup all right, calm down, Ferb. For my Xbox 360 for YouTube.com slash DeFranco Gaming, which isn't my most used channel, but I still enjoy just putting gameplay up on there, even if it doesn't have commentary. This is a cheap Logitech 2.1 system that I bought for that, but it works pretty well. There's a tiny subwoofer. New, new Cocoa, New, new Cocoa. New, new Cocoa, I know, Ferb. And my three Canon lenses, 40 millimeter, 50 millimeter, and 75 to 300 millimeter. This lens is not that great, by the way, because it does not have IS. It goes a long way. Here's my printer. I love my printer, guys. All right, Furby, you're going to have to. Yes. Here you go. Stay there. Wah. Okay, back to my printer, guys. I usually hate printers, but I really like my Epson Workforce 845. This is an amazing printer. I love everything about it. It works fantastic. And it has been perfect, which is unheard of uh, through my life because, like I said, I usually hate printers. But if you're looking for a good printer, go on GearPop, search at, and you should be able to save like $50 or so. I'm not sure the exact discount, but 
the discounts on gear pop are usually pretty good. This is my low pro case for my T4i. Yes, by the way, I am obviously a low pro uh, fan. I think I have like three low pro cases now, which is cool. In here, just a random, you know, just random stuff. My clown nose, not really, it's my Zoom H1. Zoom H1 case, Wiimotes, controllers, cables, mini tripod, and in here, I have a bunch of cables that I still have to do for my audio setup in my living room. And that is my gaming setup. Now finally moving over to the left corner in the office. This is my lamp. My Furby's freaking out. I love this lamp. It doesn't put out an insane amount of light, but it's definitely good enough for at nighttime. Uh, but I can guarantee you something. My new office, again, behind this wall will be very well lit for videos because that's the only thing I'm really going to miss about being in this office is the fact that I'm going to lose all this natural light because there's only two windows in that room next door and it's not as bright, but that's okay. I will work with it and I'm obviously going to miss having a shelf, but I'm definitely going to be buying myself a nice bookshelf um, for that very purpose. Anyway, I really love to talk. This is my lamp, pretty good lamp. I got it at Target, I think. This is my um, cube. God, I'm drawing a blank. Light cube? What's it called? Crap, I forget, but it's on Amazon. Just search cube. This is my Omnom from Cut the Rope. I love them. My first generation Apple TV, which I've not used in quite some time, so it acts as like a pedestal for um, Omnom, so I feel special. And again, that's my subwoofer down there for this setup, which I really enjoy very much. All right, now, this is my Canon T4i, also known as the 650D in countries outside of the United States. I love this. I actually want it on Quibids. Go to ddfranken.com slash Quibids for a Quibids tip and how to win easier on the auctions and stuff. And it is, it is legit, guys. It's a very legit service. Actually, that's where I got this monitor, this Xbox, this T4i, as well as a few other things, such as the other Xbox in my living room. But yes, this is an amazing uh, camera, especially for video. I mean, I'm obviously into taking photos, but video is my main um, focus right now for YouTube. And this is my Rode Video Stereo Mic. Again, excellent microphone. Check it out. That is on GearPop. And this is on GearPop as well, I think. Um, this is my favorite tripod that I've ever owned. I love this tripod. What's it called again? Here we go. Alta 204. AP. Well, sorry, I'm getting distracted by the Furby. But there it is. There is my recording setup. So usually I'm sitting right about there when I'm recording. Or if I feel like changing things up, then I'll sit over here. Or I'll sit right here. Or I'll sit up there. All right. Is that it? And this is just an old spindle for DVDs. Oh, by the way, this is my carpet. I don't know the exact name of it. I mentioned it before, but I didn't mention the name. Well, because I don't know the name. But it is what it is. So that is my office, guys. By the way, I did buy blinds when I first moved in. So these are pretty nice blinds. I love them. You just push them up. They get right up. I have three of them. And I will definitely be, bu be buying more for when I move into my new office. And I think that is it. Oh, enjoy bobblehead. Ooh. My hand gets all tight. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you do have any questions regarding my office setup or anything you saw in this video, always comment below. And again, most of the stuff you see on here, I do have unboxings for. And anything that I have unboxings for on YouTube, I most likely have over at GearPop.com. So again, check out GearPop. Link is right below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having an awesome week. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Those links are also right below. And check out thefrankymedia.com. I greatly appreciate your support. And I'll see you in my next video.